Right now at 530, innovations for tackling climate change are happening right here in Georgia this week as over 500 community members gathered in Athens at the University of Georgia to talk solutions. Here's meteorologist Melissa Nord with the details. Climate change is no longer just a future threat. We can see its impacts on communities in our state and the burdens are not shared evenly. Along the coast, hurricanes and heavy rains lead to significant floods threatening communities and our state's marshlands. In the metro Atlanta area. The city of Atlanta is likely most vulnerable to extreme heat and also flooding. Uh, we know that temperatures are increasing, heat wave intensity and frequency is increasing, and the intensity of the rainstorms are also higher, and so that leads to more flooding. The Georgia Climate Conference aims to accelerate Georgia's efforts to minimize the risks and maximize opportunities for growing our economy around green solutions. What does a resilient Georgia look like in terms of climate? We have to plan for what's going to happen, and we want to make sure everyone's at the table, whether they're business or communities, rural communities, urban communities, academics that have information that other communities need. And there are tangible resolutions. Increasing the amount of vegetation uh, will cool uh, urban heat islands. Changing the reflection of surfaces rather than dark pavements, perhaps lighter pavements reflects more of the sun's energy. Trees provide shading. But even things that you might not think about in terms of traffic patterns and changes in uh, traffic circle implementation. And there are new financial incentives for change. $180 million is coming to our state from the Inflation Reduction Act for clean power generation and storage. And more money will be available as tax credits for homeowners looking to reduce their carbon footprints. Some of these include rebates covering at least 50% of the cost of new energy efficient appliances like heat pumps and water heaters and tax credits for 30% of the cost of installing solar panels. In Athens, meteorologist Melissa Nord, 11 Alive News.